Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel Caps. Hello darling. Welcome back to the Secret Tower. It is always a blessing to have you guys back here. Capricorn, okay? Just know that you're a diamond and just know that you're special. Please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond, okay? Now you guys, um, please don't hes hesitate to thumbs up your reads as soon as you come on in. Um, thank you for all the love that you showed on your very last video. It is a very appreciated. Those, those thumbs ups are really getting up. And the more that you guys love your reads, is the more that I bring them towards you, okay? So let's get this energy out of the way because I did do um, a Leo just now. So we're going to put Leo energy out and tap into Capricorn. Okay, Caps? Alrighty. All right, let's get into a prayer, you guys, because a prayer is always necessary here. Okay, we do pray here. All right, Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers, Heavenly Father. Please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so Capricorn, just know that this reading is a general reading, and not a personal one. So with that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it simply may not. Um, please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest, okay? Um, just know that the roles are always reversing, always reversing, all right? Um, cross watchers, if you are interested in also having a personal reading with me, um, you can always connect with me using the information that I provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of today's video to schedule an appointment for a personal one. All right. Let's get an angel here. All right. So the angel that comes through today will definitely be the angel that will be here to assist me with this reading. And also this is the angel that I share with you guys as well. Okay. I'm trying to get my stuff organized here. I should have been organized before hand. But I just want to be able to see my cards when they come through. That makes sense, right? All right, let's get it. Let's get it together. <laughs> All right, let's get an angel here. All right, what is the angel that is coming to to assist me with this reading for Capricorn, please? What is the angel that is here to assist me with this reading for Capricorn? All right, so we have the angel, the angel of solitude. All right, so the angel of solitude, you guys, will be the 29th angel in line. Wow, angels of solitude. All right, thank you, angels, for coming to, to assist me with this reading for Capricorn. We appreciate you. All right, let's get you an angel message here. All right, angel messages, please, for my Capricorns. Angel message for my Capricorn, please. Angel message for my Capricorns at this time. Okay. All right, Caps. So we have the angel number 44, okay? All right, so the angel number 44 is I am supported. Some of you guys, you may want to repeat this three times. I am supported, I am supported, I am supported, okay? Now, the angels are saying that your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. Okay, amen to that. All right, so now I'm going to get you an affirmation here. All right, what is the affirmation, please? What is the affirmation here for Capricorn at this time? Angels, ancestors, to spirit guides. What is the affirmation here for Capricorn, please? What is the affirmation for Capricorn? What's the affirmation for Capricorn? Okay, caps. All right, so your affirmation today is discovery, okay? All right, so angels just say that trying something new and exploring other options will help you learn and grow. The opportunities are just waiting for you to be discovered. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
for Capricorn. All right, Caps. Let's get you an angel message here in love. All right, I'm using my deck here. It's called the Awakening 1111. If you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, the information will be down in the description, okay? All right, so let's get a, a love message here from the universe for Capricorn. Okay, thank you. All right, so we have uh, mistakes. Wow, mistakes. For some of you guys here, okay? And again, it won't resonate to every single one of you, so you have to take what does resonate with you and leave the rest. Um, I'm hearing a lot of mistakes here. Now, someone made a lot of mistakes. When I say a lot of mistakes, I mean a tremendous amount of mistakes was made. Now, somebody did some spell work here, okay? Spell work was definitely done. Now, if this is not you, that did these major arcanas here on your person, then your person did it to you. But somebody did some major spell work here. And I feel like someone is definitely feeling very stuck. Okay, someone feels rather stuck here. I'm um, stuck in a situation of spell. Okay, spell. Somebody feels very stuck. Very, very stuck. This is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm hearing. Somebody feels very stuck here. Don't know where to turn. Feel like a, a black bird without wings. And that's crazy. Let's see what this person is thinking. Whoever done this is vicious. Because something, whatever was done, somebody is left stuck. Somebody feels very stuck. Not in a situation of love, but in a situation of spell work. Okay? That's all it did. Not love. I feel like that was something was forced. Okay. All right, angels. Let's get to work. What's the message from your person? And your person is your person who first came to thought, past, present, or future. Okay, place your person where you need to place them. Okay. So this person is saying, I thought it would be over by now. But I somehow still have the same, feel the same about you. Okay, so this person is saying that they thought that the relationship would have been done. It would have been over. It would have been a wrap. Okay. Um... Somebody would have been out of their life or in or, or whatever. Whatever was going on, someone just thought that situation was, that was going to be the end. The end of it. Hasta la vista. I don't know what to do anymore. Yet I know what to do. Somebody's saying, I know what to do. I know what the hell's going on here. But I, in fact, I'm lost. And why am I lost? Because I feel stuck in a situation where spell is connected to it. I wish we could just talk it out. I wish that we could have just talked it out instead of going and doing the spell work. Okay. Like, really? My goodness. Tell me more. What's really going on here with, with Capricorn? I feel it. I feel attracted to you. This person is saying that they do feel attracted to you, though. Okay, I feel attracted to you. However, the way that I have treated you was wrong. Please don't put up with my behavior. This is what this person is saying. Okay, they know that they did some things. Or if, if this is not them, then this is definitely you. Somebody admits to doing a lot of crazy stuff here. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of you. This is what I don't want to do anymore. Maybe this person is drinking or just sexually addicted to something or whatever they're addicted. Whatever is causing this relationship to go downhill. I can't help but feel drawn to you. Even though I know that's your spell work involved, I just cannot help to feel drawn to you. It doesn't make any sense. That's why. Because somebody is addicted. Somebody is doing witchcraft. Y'all. Okay. Okay, right here. Okay, that's what's going on. Crazy as hell, but it is. 
Can you accept where I am right now? Because my life is a mess. This person is saying that their life is a mess. Why would you even want to do any? Why would anyone want to even connect to someone who's involved or doing whatever? Their life isn't going right. Why would everybody want to be with somebody doing spell work on somebody that their life isn't going right? Whether their life is going right or wrong, someone knows that something is odd or off. I'm fighting my feelings for you. It's because somebody's fighting their feelings. Somebody is, is, is meant to do more. I'm thinking about you right now in this moment. I wish I knew then what I know now. This person is saying, I wish I did what they knew. You know, okay. They, I feel like this person is kind of fighting, realizing that something is odd or off or whatever is going on here. <sighs> mm -mm. Jesus, take the wheel in a better Y'all know that song. Jesus take the wheel. This is how I feel. I feel like Jesus needs to take the damn wheel sometime soon. Okay, take the wheel, Lord, because somebody done lost their mind. Whatever, whatever this is. Somebody's out of control. I feel like somebody's spiraling out of control. You can't force. You could take the cow to the river to drink the water, but his stupid ass could just be standing there looking even more stupid and not taking a drink. Thirsty as hell and not drinking anything, okay? The Tower and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is a lose-lose type thing. Major Arcana. Somebody's going to get their pay, payback. Clarify these messages, please. For Capricorn. All right, so Capricorn, we have the Hangman in the reverse. <clears throat> what is the Hangman in the reverse, please? What is the Hangman in the reverse for Capricorn? All right, so Caps, we have the Hangman. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the, the Six of Pentacles in the upright. You also have the um, Three of Cups in the reverse and the Hermit in the reverse, okay? Back of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. You also have the Ace of Swords. We have major blockages here, okay? Because somebody's been stuck in the mud, okay? All right, so there's definitely a situation here where... Um, something is just disorganized at this present moment, okay? Um, and you have to place the moment where you want to place it, whether it's a past moment, or for some of you guys, it's, it's, it's right now, or it's coming. But there's something there that disorganized, which is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles in the reverse, somebody's dealing with also financial um, situations here where they're not able to balance their money right. Somebody's either broke or bankrupt or about to be, Okay? All right, um, the two of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and the six. Of, this is all money. All right, we're talking about money here. Somebody needs to balance their life out. Okay, I feel like somebody needs to know that their situation that is calling for some serious things to go down here. Somebody needs to pay close attention to their life in general on another level. Okay. Somebody's worrying about the wrong damn things here. I feel like for some of you guys, it's all about commitment right now. And I'm talking about that commitment that you have with family structure, okay? The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is Six of Pentacles here, okay? Somebody's about to be broke, <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like whatever that you've been investing in, somebody's trying to either solve something, balance something out. It's not been balanced here. Somebody's just dealing with constant affairs, love affairs that's gone wrong. Third party situation, the three of cups in the reverse and the hermit. Okay. Dealing with isolation, loneliness, and withdrawal, period. What is this? Okay. So you have the Six of Swords. So now it's time that you get the hell away from the situation, okay? With the Six of Swords, and then you have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. That's on period, okay? So you're moving away from this, even though, um, and just know this, okay? Let me clarify this before I even go any further, Capricorn, all right? Um, you're, you're definitely walking away from a situation that doesn't serve you any good anymore. When I say serve you any good, I mean no damn good, all right? Somebody's making a decision to walk away from something here. And we all know what that something is. 
this is unnecessary situations that's calling burden. Now you're moving into something new, that's for sure. It's calling for a transition, and that's for sure. Okay, without a shadow of a doubt. But one thing for certain and a million things for sure is this ten of swords, honey, is in the reverse. Okay. So in the reverse. I feel like you're healing from whatever it is that has going on. You're healing from pain. You're healing from being distracted. You're healing from the truth. Okay. You're healing from false doctrine. You're healing from fake promises. You're healing from people and their nonsense. You're just healing, baby. Okay. You're healing. You're healing. You're letting fear go. You're not having anything ruin your life here. You, you just, you just being you and you're putting the situation to an end. Okay. There's no getting around this. The devil is here. The devil in the back of the deck, the seven of cups, also here, the nine of pentacles. Somebody is just wrong, okay? This person is bored and lazy. They're feeling crazy, and they're crazy. Somebody's crazy as hell, dealing with toxicity and thinking that there's more options out there when there's none. I feel like this person is toxic for you, okay? This person is sleeping with a lot of people or whatever the hell they got going on. It's just crazy as hell. That's all I can say. Now it's time that you do what you need to do. The Six of Pentacles. The, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords. Make your decision, honey. Make that choice and do what you got to do. Okay? You may be hurt. And it's okay because you're only human. But at the end of the day, there's something waiting for you beyond the, the scene. Okay? Whatever is coming towards you, is coming towards you. It's, it's going to happen. But you're just going to have to make your mind up to let, let go to zero and find yourself a damn hero. I don't know why I need to say that, but I, I did. I just felt the need to say that. Okay? Something better is out there for somebody. All right, you guys. This is going to be your read. Capricorn, I do hope that this resonates with you. Please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up on your way out. I will see you in your next one. Until then, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.